market? No, I... My parents have asked me to come live with them, and I'd like to. Oh, what do you mean, live with them? You live here with me. I'm sorry, Edward, but my father is right. You had a decent wage when you worked for farm. Why can you not be satisfied with that? With me? Decent wage? That job was near as damn it to robbery. You want to be married to a peasant the whole of your life. All right, Edward. All right. You leave now, Caroline. You'll never know what's coming to us. Caroline! Caroline! Wake up, can we? What's that about? He left this morning with the galleon, as Faith will discover a good use for this old cove ourselves. Aye, we'll make something of it in time. We could keep a fleet here if we like. And with a bit of fixing up, it'd be a decent place to call home. Might even convince my wife to come one day. You're married, are you? In God's eyes, I am. She left me some time ago. Even so, keep that fact hid away. Most of these pirates don't respect a man with higher commitments than rum and plunder. Upon mine honor, let me know if you find anything. Odd-looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. Concentrate and focus on all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Anything to matter. Ah, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Quite a combination. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. I've had this sense most of my life. Only... You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. I have something else to show you. I found something else just here. I think we'll take to this secret much faster. Now this has the makings of a mystery.
It's good, isn't it? Here we are. What do you think? I think Monsieur de Cass was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. What do you suppose lies at the top? From what I knew of de Cass, wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumbscrews. Not a nice way to kick off. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning, then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could. If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. Who am I, then? Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. Good day, Edward. <laughs> Captain has the helm. Captain, 
We found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers? Might come in useful. We decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. What's our course today, Captain? It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British. Today, Captain, it's a fine. Any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. If we can take their gold and put it to use ourselves, I'll be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum. Captain, of course, 
today, Captain. It's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret. Ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, I did. <laughs> and what's your name? Master Kid. The prize he was going to show me down to you. Well, it's a distance, Mike. The Yakutan Peninsula. You trust him to fame, sir? I can't. He has a way of taking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Toulouse.
Jesus, kid! You led me into a mess! We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. <laughs> 